Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video tutorial. Today we're going to transform this image into this. So let's begin. First, we're going to composite our images together. In this case, I'm using a pen tablet to remove the background. Drag the coast image into our working file and crop it to composite a little bit better. Now add the sky image and erase the unnecessary parts. Don't use the eraser tool, use layer mask. Place the second sky image and erase the use these parts as well. Add curves adjustment layer to brighten the background and add some fog to blend the background. In this part, I'm just experimenting color corrections on the background layer to look more realistic. Right now, I'm adding a little bit of vignette effect to the background look more you know interesting press ctrl shift alt e and go to filter to lens blur right now i'm darkening the background and add some sunset effect with a really soft brush Change the blending mode to something like overlay. Now it's time to add some bokeh. I use hard brush with the transfer mode on. Now we're done with the background, it's time to move to the model. We begin by bringing the brightness down of the model. I use curves layer with no mask, with mask to lighten up some parts. Draw on the parts that need lighting with a 50% soft brush. You can see it's already affecting the image. Set the color to white, pick our round brush and begin to paint the edges to give some backlit effect. It's about, it's about mixing and experimenting the things you know. There's no exact same technique or anything, it's really up to you. Just keep painting until you have the look you want. Every time you add something, create a new layer. Working on separate layers have a lot of benefits. Now I'm painting the edges again with orange.
shadows of the model is in the curves there. Now pick a 50% soft brush and paint over the face. Sample the colors around your painting area. And it's about mixing colors and blending them. I decided to add some orange soft lighting to the models and just to blend the model with the background. To finish the image, add color grading. I usually use curves, hue saturation, selective color, etc. Sharpen the image just a little bit. Too much sharpening kills your image. I'm not an expert or anything, I'm just a guy who's learning and I want to share my process with you guys. And I inspired this work from a guy called Max Sabin and you really should check out his works, I'm sure you're gonna like them too. Now I'm looking for ways to make it look better like adding details, color grading, etc. And we're about to finish. And sorry for my English, it's my second language. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it. If you want to see more Photoshop videos, subscribe to my, to my channel. There's really some good stuff going on in there. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.